welcome back to the channel guys um, doing another uh, video about uh, Florida plant profiles and uh, today I have chose the pigeon pea this is a very very easy plant to grow I just pulled a leaf roller caterpillar off of that one um, very easy plant to grow and this is actually my first time growing it but as you can see uh, I've had no issues getting it to grow they are a perennial they they last for a few years uh, I think I saw three to five years um, <clears throat> if there's no frost or anything like that but they are as it sounds a pea they make uh make little peas and there's different varieties my variety is the black pea variety so you'll get a pea pod you know about that long that's how mine's been <clears throat> and inside there'll be these little almost look like black beans but they're a little more rounded instead of elongated and um you can uh dry them out just like you would any sort of like like black eye peas or zipper peas or anything like that conch peas um which that's what i've done i've dried them out um i'm mostly trying to just get seed right now so i'm not really saving it for eating but uh once i get more planted and get it you know producing more then we'll have stuff to eat but no joke these were half this size um just like a month or so ago they've grown that fast they've grown extremely fast especially when we started to get rain they grew extremely fast but um they're a very hardy plant they don't really require um good soil like this they are you see how well they're growing in my soil and my soil is a work in progress so they can have they can manage without being in extremely good soil and do just fine they can hand they're they're pretty drought tolerant um <clears throat> heat doesn't bother them one bit they come from i believe they come from uh an area africa so they're used to the heat and the humidity um seriously the heat they, they don't even care they just sail right through it um and i don't know how many how often they they make peas um mine i've had a couple plants make them twice now and but they've really been working more on just getting bigger they'll get to the size of like a, a shrub a big shrub or maybe a small tree and um how much bigger it will get from here i imagine it can get probably about as tall as that rebar somewhere in that range and like i said they'll last for what i've seen is three to five years and <clears throat> they the one thing they cannot tolerate is cold weather so if you have any frosts or freezing temperatures it will kill them uh but they are easy enough to plant save the seeds or save the peas dry them out and then plant them and they come up uh, come up easily I actually have some that I'm trying to sell um, but they are yeah they're they're very hardy like you can see here's it's the end of a, a branch you can see all the new growths um, they will if the pea pods fall off and this and the the peas get into the ground they will self-seed um but i don't think that that's very common you got to let it actually get uh dried on the on the plant and fall to the ground and do that sort of stuff most of the time you're going to be picking it off before then so but i did have one self-seed and i um transplanted it but these are my two biggest ones and then over here I have a smaller one a little butterfly a little skipper butterfly on a, on my uh, pumpkins 
my pumpkins that are only making male flowers. I don't know what the deal is. But um, I have another one here. And this one is is starting to get there. Like it's growing. It For some reason, it didn't boom like that one the two in the back did but I mean it's it's doing well this one's one that I've gotten two rounds of peas and um, yeah they are very very easy to, um, you can grow them from seeds you can grow them from uh, transplanting them they they are just they're extremely hardy and they like the climate here in Florida they like the cold not cold no they don't like the cold they like the warm um, humidity and that sort of stuff um, I actually have two that came up from seed so here's one here's one they may be a little too close together but we'll see what happens I'm kind of letting them go and we'll see what happens um, but yeah if you have that does really well in the heat does really well in the humidity um, doesn't require perfect soil so if your soil is like mine it's a work in progress you're you're having to improve it because it's very um, nutrient deficient um, then pigeon peas are a good option I've seen uh, you can find pigeon peas on eBay you might be able to find them a bag of them in a grocery store I don't know I mean they'd be ones that just like black eyed peas if you find a bag of the dried peas you can plant those and they will grow and um, unlike black eyed peas they'll last you for three to five years uh, all things considered so yep that's gonna be my installment for today get you some pigeon peas and um, they will grow very easily for you mine are in out here in the full sun just nothing none of that seems to bother them the heat the full sun none of it they don't care they keep going right through it so get you some pigeon peas check your grocery store see if they have any dried ones if not you can always jump on eBay um, I'm selling some plants so if you want any let me know um, <clears throat> and that's gonna be it for today thanks for watching and please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and any questions or any anything anything to say drop it down in the comments and i will uh i will chat with you online and i hope that you all have a, a great rest of your day